in kind knowledge. We come before you now with another seeking of the questions of moving forward on your world. The time it takes to take that next step forward with leaps and bounds is a millisecond within the heartbeat reverberating within the heartbeat of Mother Earth. For you are all connected and know you are journeying together as one in this lifetime you're experiencing now. Your enjoyment of this light and of your being, of being alive, is what is reverberating and keeping forth the, moving forward with the guiding lights that are leading you forth today and onto your tomorrow. The education and learning in your world will be speeding up and taking a toll on some people where they will be given some information and knowledge and opportunities where they are not sure where to go with this bit of information. They have not had context context to understand what is coming through at this time. The kindness and the patience required for guiding the light and sharing these words will need to be given in, in kindness and grace where the allowance of this information to go through must be given time. Time for the people to understand and grasp this knowledge for we have been watching and seeing humanity's growth we see the suffering and we see the sorrow and we see the challenges and yet we see your love we see the love for your children and your families the kindness and friendship and your neighbors so when we bring forth this information know that we come with light and love and strength and key knowledge to be shared along the way to help open up the hearts of many others. Please keep this light shining so they can catch this ray and sparks of hope. That is what is so important for once they can catch this spark and lean into this and grasp it and take note of this. And if they are given this opportunity and challenge to feel this light and love, then this will increase the connectivity and the quickening of the connection to this Christ light at this time. For they need to feel this and know this. Many people need to, this, to know this before they will feel this sometimes. But if we give them the opportunity to feel this this will help quickening the opening. And please be there to help guide them in the opening and the teachings of our great ancients that are bringing back healings to your world. The fifth dimensional healings of light, the pillars of light are standing tall and through all of you light workers who can remain here to keep these standing so high and tall and receive the new hearts who are learning and looking for salvation as you may say but we know that it is not up to one person to help save or offer salvation it is the whole collective where we are in this together all is one throughout the cosmos and know that just being together with love and openness in our heart will bring forth the gladness and changes in your world and the higher dimensional shifts we are all leaning into now. So please 
cast away your blinders and look all around, look for these people, help give courage and strength, teach them the wills of the ways where you have begun and that will set them on their new path of newness and believing in all the believing they need to believe in with faith that they too can create the lives they choose and they want in your lifetimes now. For this is what matters most. Please stand tall with vast courage and strength and reach your hand out to your neighbors and your brothers and sisters at this time. This time of Christmas in Christ's light rings truth for many dimensions and many domains and many centuries ago where the true bringing forth of the Christ energy is what will help move and bring forth the humans into the new coming age, the age of Aquarius where we all belong, moving forth with the strength and the wills where there's love and peace in the world. And for this is what we want to share with you. Amen.